Here we are at Grace Papaya. This place is legendary for street noise and also hot dogs. Yes. Any New Yorker will tell you if you want to get a good idea of how great hot dogs can be in the city, got to take them to Grace. All right, I'm here for it. Should we try it out? Yeah, I'll see you. It's good. Yeah, I want to do uh, two of the specials. Uh, let's do uh, the hot dogs with kraut, onion, and mustard, and uh, two of the uh, pineapple drinks. Uh, oh, papaya. papaya, sorry. We get these to go. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, All right, a bag of dogs and a drink, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, uh, let's go eat this in the park. There's no room in here. Come yeah, on, okay. Check it out. Well, there it is. Beautiful. Who let the dogs out? Am I right? All right, so this is Gray's papaya, and we got two New York dogs and their papaya flavored drink. I guess the standard New York hot dog is onions and sauerkraut and mustard. Sure. I know you like kraut, right? Yeah, I like kind of anything pickled or mustardy. So yeah. on, like in terms of toppings, this is very much up my street. Fantastic. So let's take a bite of the dog, mm -hmm. then we'll take a sip of the, uh, the papaya drink, and you'll see. We'll see how you feel afterwards, right? I'm intrigued to see how this combination works together, because yeah. this is not something that we find in the UK. Yeah, I'm so, starving, yeah. so let's do this. All right, man. Yeah. Mm. The snap of the dog is 100% beef. Mm -hmm. Dog. Flavorful. Goes yeah. really well. I mean, yeah, you're right. The, I guess the acidity yeah, of the uh, of the kraut pairs with the uh, the snappiness, the full flavor of the dog. Coming from someone who doesn't eat a lot of hot dogs or love hot dogs, me, this is actually really, really good. I feel like they've mastered the topping ratios here. Yeah. There's like just enough onions to kraut to mustard to beef. So it really kind of balances all out. Yeah. It really works together. The papaya drink, it's fantastic. And with the the, the saltiness and the and the vinegariness of the dog, pair with this, fantastic. I can't say I've eaten many papaya things before. Get in there, buddy. It can't be 100% papaya juice, right? Like 100%? Ooh. No, they can't do that, right? How Ooh. expensive would that drink be if that was 100% papaya juice? You yeah. definitely wouldn't be able to get yeah. a combo for <laughs> yeah, no $4, $4 yeah. or something. Yeah. This is really good. It's very good, right? This is like, the texture is quite creamy, I would say. Yeah, Do you get yeah. that? Yeah, oh yeah. And sweet. Yeah, I think that does actually work really well as a combination, Fantastic. which is not what I was expecting. I don't know if this reference will hold up in the US, but hopefully the UK viewers will get this. Let's go. For some reason, this tastes exactly like a vanilla mini milk ice lolly. I do know what that is. Yeah? Yeah. You had one of those before? I had one years ago when mm -hmm. I was there, but it's not something that like I, I, uh, I clamor for. They're not even like super common because it's kind of like for kids. Yeah. But it's a very nostalgic flavor. And honestly, I get exactly this. Yeah, we have something similar here. Usually referred to as a dreamsicle. Mm -hmm. It is a vanilla popsicle. I think you said iced lolly. Yeah. It's, it's orange and cream. Mm -hmm. So it's not vanilla. I'm saying an orange and cream uh, popsicle. It isn't exactly this because obviously that's orange. This does have though that tropical fruit and cream yeah. combo that is really good. I will say again for a self-confessed, not really hot dog enjoyer. Yeah. I have just kind of passively found myself eating this whole thing. Yeah, because you've just eaten those, really those, those UK dogs. Who knows what they're putting in there? <laughs> That's all American beef dog, buddy. Mm -hmm. In the UK, it's way more common to get a pork frankfurter. And maybe that has something to do with why I'm enjoying this one slightly more. It's definitely got more of like a savory taste to it that I'm used to, yeah. which I'm really enjoying. All right, on to the next spot. Let's go. Let's go. Harry and I already had enough of eating outdoors. So I brought us to some familiar territory, a dark and noisy bar named McSorley's Old Ale House. This bar has been here since I think the 1800s. It might not seem that big of a deal for you coming from London, but here in America, that's really old. Yeah, for you guys, that seems like it's been around a while. Almost when you were founded, I forget when yeah, that yeah, was. Yeah, this was. Uh, this is definitely uh, New Amsterdam days. Okay. <laughs> it it does place, kind of remind me of like a British pub. It's nice. This place is amazing. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I, they have two types of beer. Dark or light. You have the light, I have the dark. Houdini was here once, Abraham Lincoln drank here, E.E. E. Cummins mentioned it in Apollo. Yeah, so I'm not even the most famous Harry to have drunk here. Harry Styles dropped in after his last yeah, race. Yeah, yep. he sold that Madison Square Garden. He went right to McSorley's. Okay, so McSorley's. Where everyone was like, "Who is this child?" Anyway, the one thing about this place that most people don't know about is they have a fantastic hot dog. Okay, I'm here for it. Dude, you know what they have here that's totally ridiculous? You get a plate of onions, cheese, and like saltine crackers. Like like cooked onions? No, they're wrong. Okay. We're not getting it, but I want to say for the record, that's totally not normal. Well, now I feel like we should get it, now that you've mentioned it. Can we do uh, two hot dogs and a plate of the cheese and crackers on it? hot dogs, you want chili and sauerkraut, one of each, or...? I think just the sauerkraut, maybe? Just a sauerkraut, one and sauerkraut for each. 
Yeah, thanks, bud. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, come on. I get for props. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thank you. Did he do two hands or one? I think he had all of those in one hand. No. How many of those can you do in one hand? Because I cannot do eight. It's he impossible. definitely did that with one hand. It's impossible. No, that was Let's not see one how many hand. I can do in one hand. I reckon like three or maybe four. I feel like four. Do I have tiny hands? Oh, wait, here we go. There we go. Thank you. There we go. I love this. A sleeve of saltines. Just saltine. a full sleeve of saltines. A sleeve, full sleeve of saltines. Saltines. I don't know that I've ever had a saltine cracker. You know. You haven't? I don't think so. They're not really a thing in the UK. Oh no! This is like what you get with soup. Yeah. I know there's a dot. Oh, is this is this mustard too here? I was kind of rude about it, but the onions kind of winning me over. <laughs> immediately come around on that. Let's dip that. Well, oh my god. That is some strong mustard. Mm -hmm. Definitely try that mustard. Oh man. I love a bit of strong mustard. Ooh. Yeah? That's it's mustard? Like, it's like English mustard, man. That is hot. Now, is that, is, is that Grey Poupon level? Is what? Grey Poupon. You know what a Grey Poupon is? I've got no idea what you're talking about. You don't know what Grey Poupon mustard is? Grey Poupon. Yeah, what gray are you saying? Poupon. First word, Grey. Yes. Second word, Poupon. Poop. Well, not poop. Poo pond. There was this ad campaign in the 80s when they made it seem like this, this brown mustard called Grey Poupon was like a really fancy mustard. And you see one guy sitting in the back of a, like a nice town car. He's like eating a meal in the back seat of his car. And the second car pulls up. Another rich guy pulls in the window. He's like, pardon me. Do you have any Grey Poupon? And the other guy's like, but of course. And then when he hands him the jar, and the guy like goes to like get it from like from one window to the next, they pause that and like Grey Poupon. This mustard's fancy. I don't know what the, the they make a joke of it in Wayne's World. If we're talking mustard in the UK, yeah. like English mustard, I guess like Coleman's probably has the Coleman's. the market cornered on that one. Okay. But yeah, this is good. This is like some some powerful stuff. And weirdly, yeah, I'm kind of enjoying the onion. <laughs> so wipes the sword. Our stuff is back. <laughs> Okay, well, this dog's gonna flip your Grey Poupon when you try, I'm telling you, buddy. <laughs> Man, Ooh, thank this you. I'm Look at this. Now, this looks real good. Thank nice. you so very much. Thank you very much. Awesome. Damn. Okay. They're not right. They tell you they're not playing with this hot dog, dude. This is for real. This looks like a, a little bit of mustard too. Hot dog, man. You gotta have a little bit of the mustard ahead of time with the, uh, with yes. the cheese. I've got and a little, onion, a little taste already. It's powerful I'm going stuff. To... I feel like using it yeah, kind of yeah, sparingly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. This mustard, I mean, like. Just a clear sinuses. Man, I'm excited. Yeah, this dog is ridiculous. This looks pretty good, man. Ready? All right. Let's get in here. I think I'm ready. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Let me tell you, how good is this dog? Ooh. Whoa, that mustard just hit. It's a Feltman's hot dog. Right, okay. Right? It's different from the other ones you've had today. Who are, who are Feltman's? Probably one of the oldest hot dog companies in the US, certainly in New York. Right. Others have moved in, but they're sticking with the originals. Okay, but they don't have too many hot dog stands, right? It's not as common as you think. Sure. There is a definite difference in the taste there. It really tastes a difference, right? And the casing is really good. It's like a real There's snap There's a good snap to it. Yes, yeah. I was going to say. Look, it even has like the excess casing here. Like, I don't know what that means, but it feels like because of that, it's more natural. That looks like, uh, you know the sausage you see in like Tom and Jerry? When it's got, it looks like, like a balloon knot on the end. It's like that. <laughs> like the sausage legs. Uh -huh. Is it in cut it? Oh man, you get a chance, try a bite on the other end with just the dog. Mm. The meat, it's impeccable. It's really good, man. Right? I will say like, when it arrived, it looked like a lot of sauerkraut. But it's not the most like aggressive sauerkraut you've ever had, right? It's like fairly gentle, not overly tangy and in your face. Dude. You're getting the mustard. <laughs> yeah, I get like a mustard pocket. I was about to agree with you. That thing just goes, like, that just goes right up your nose. It really does. Ooh. Mustard here is weird because it's more that like wasabi it. like yeah. attacks like the back but, of your nose. But I love this. It's really good. It's really, really good. good. I told you, man, this dog is incredible. This is a serious top dog. Yeah, man. this might be the one to beat. Mm. Man. I'm, like eating with caution. I'm like, you getting like, what? You're getting the mustard at the end mm -hmm. there? Ma'am, you take a bite, you chew, you think you're in the clear, yeah. and then you hit a pocket of mustard. So you get real cocky, <laughs> with, yeah, you get real cocky with your breathing again. Yeah. You're like, now that it's out of my mouth, time to inhale. I'm in, I'm in the clear. Gotcha, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. 
You have deleted that dog. Wow. I think the dog, and with nothing on it, if I just got that with, with just the dog and bun, I still would be very, very pleased. The way that, yeah. Yeah, let me try just yeah. like a little bit of the sausage on its own. Yeah, freestyle just the dog. That might be the best snap we have all day. Mm. That might be the best one. That's like, right? It's like, so flavorful. Right? It's like yeah. what I imagine biting someone's finger off would be like to <laughs> pop, right? That's not how I wanted to imagine it. Oh, but, okay. But you do you. Yeah. Considering how spicy it is and how much it like almost hurts, it's yeah. like so Moorish. You just yeah. keep, you want to keep going back every time. It's almost like eating hot wings in a certain way. Where like yeah. the pain of it and then the and then like the endorphin rush after it like adds to it. Why do humans do that? It's like things that are like spicy, really sour. We just like can't get enough of it. And now I'm kind of picking up the onions. Well, I mean, again. we've still got like half a sleeve of saltines to get through, so you know. We'll get those to go. Perfect for dessert. Well, as much as I'd love to stay in a bar all day and night, we unfortunately have to go and eat more hot dogs. So let's finish these seven or several, eight more beers that they beers. gave us. Yeah, cool. And then on to more hot dogs. I'll drink to that one. Cheers, buddy. One quintessential New York hot dog experience is getting one at one of the blue and yellow umbrella carts that's right by Central Park. So here we are on 93rd Street, I think. I'm gonna get two dogs from my guy, get over to the park, hang out and eat them. Sounds good. Nice, let's do it. Behold, the dog. Mustard, sauerkraut and onions. I don't know what he put on this, to be honest. The guy was moving lightning fast. He really was, really. yeah, he knew but, his uh, stuff. <laughs> Two dollars for a dog, did you notice that? I did, that's cheap. That's really cheap. Is that like the standard kind of street hot dog price? Because we're right next to Central Park, we're in a good location. Yeah, I know, it varies. Yeah. I think that guy, that guy, he's in it for the love of the game. His car was wrapped in plastic like it had just been murdered. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> a car, like, like a crime scene. It did a little bit, yeah. yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> but uh, he's working hard, so we'll mm -hmm. do his dogs proud, but I'm, right. I'm actually like, really hungry. So Yeah, let's give it a try and then we'll okay. discuss. Mm. Not as mm -hmm. much of a distinct flavor as the dog we've had before today, mm -hmm. but still an incredibly good hot dog. Yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised. I think like often in the UK, hot dogs tend to be boiled rather than grilled. Yeah. I know sometimes places will boil them here, like this one. Yeah, oh yeah, good point. These are boiled, yeah. I think generally speaking, I prefer the texture of like a grilled one because you get more of like a snap on the crust. Yeah, yeah. But you still get like a little bit of that here. And honestly, it like, hasn't changed the flavor that much, I don't think. Yeah. It still tastes fairly similar. Yeah, this is like a nostalgia play, you know? Yeah, so he put ketchup on this one. Yeah. Where do you stand on ketchup on hot dogs? Because some people find that controversial. Who gives a shit? <laughs> put whatever you want in your dog. I can't stand this. We did it with the pizza episode the other day. Like, blah, 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 pineapple. Like, it's true. Put whatever you want in your hot dog. Who cares? People have rules. Some people like to stick to the rules. Absolutely nonsense. You're more of a maverick. Don't That's you think it, it's a weirder topping sauerkraut and onion? <laughs> right? Ever the ketchup? It's like, hold on. Ketchup's the third weird thing on here. Right? Apparently, the National Hot Dog and Sausage Council, A, there is one, and B, they released a statement because they released statements saying something to the tune of, you can put ketchup on your hot dog until you're like 13 or 14, and then they have to add that, like be an adult or whatever, grow up. I love the existence of a national hot dog and sausage council. The word yeah. council is brilliant there. Yeah, Not like organization. Yeah council like the council yeah. has spoken yeah the, these carts like this they're all over the city but this mm -hmm. one specifically a 93rd billy's i'm assuming that was billy himself who helped us has hundreds of five-star reviews it's almost like uh the most popular or well-reviewed hot dog cart in the entire city so if yeah. i'm taking one you gotta take it to the best one right yeah i mean i wonder why he's got the best one the location's great we're right yeah. on central park that's pretty cool and he, he seemed like he knew his stuff yeah it's Perfectly nice guy. Yeah. I, I just think it's insane to be rating a hot dog cart. Just eating it out bit, with your right? life. Really bizarre to be like, mm -hmm, two stars. Like, what Unless I got like the worst food poisoning ever and I logged on to give a, a bad rating. I don't know like how you're gonna you get like, the a, if you, So you get the worst food poisoning ever and you give it a bad review? You don't call the health inspector? <laughs> call that guy. <laughs> I feel like that feels too much I'll like, show that. That's, 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 that's the British in you. Like, why well, don't I don't want to be... Yeah impolite so yeah, let's give that him two feels stars too rude. Yeah. that's too much like snitching went to the hospital it's like, two stars <laughs> dog was pretty good on the yeah. way down yeah, okay, <laughs> that's yeah. pretty good <laughs> i finished up we got more hot dogs to eat all right buddy let's go from there we made our way to madison square park for our next dog we're here at madison square park mm -hmm. the original shake shack location now it used to actually be a shack probably right there that sold hot dogs then eventually burgers and shakes got in the mix. But this is where it happened, all right here at this park. Damn. This hot dog is one of the highest rated hot dogs in the city. But 
That might be because the Shake Shack is highly rated, and they also sell hot dogs here. Okay. Uh, so I they've don't kind know. of like hacked TripAdvisor a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. yeah, exactly. So, but this is the dog that launched a thousand shacks then. That's right. So, of course, we have to show off this insane debacle of a hot dog. I believe it's called like a flat top hot dog. Right. And the reason they do that, cut it, they and cut then it in you half, press it they put it down, something called like the butterfly cuts. Sure. The idea is if you're making a hot dog and an earthquake strikes, of course. Uh, it doesn't roll off of the grill because Got it. it's just, yeah. I, mean, for, I mean, I think the original Shake Shack guy used to, uh, his first job was making hot dogs on a pirate ship. On I a, don't know, on for a, whatever on a reason. Line. Yeah, 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 that's right, yeah. <laughs> it looks pretty well cooked. So there's like a nice bit of color on there. Yeah. I'm biting this dog, see how it tastes? Cheers, let's there's, go. Yeah, the, the, the char taste really comes through with this. I almost, in a weird way, I almost wouldn't want to put anything on this. I do slightly disagree with you. I do think oh. it needs some moisture, is the main thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I meant toppings. Toppings. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, like, just like spray with a little bit of water or whatever. Yeah, that works. Okay. No, I think, like, a little bit of sauce or, like, some caramelized onion or something. Oh, well. Just to kind of, you know, aid it on the way down. But the dog itself is really tasty. It's got, like, a chewier texture than I've had before. I would make some changes with like the toppings. I think okay. if this came with some grilled onions and maybe a little mustard, I'd be a happy man. Did somebody say toppings? I did say toppings. All right. Funny you should mention toppings. I did have a bit of an ulterior motive bringing you here. This Shake Shack actually has a Chicago style dog. And me being from Chicago, I think the Chicago style dog is the best style of hot dog, at least in America. Keep your voice down, man. We're in I New know. York. Oh, yeah, please. Crazy. And, uh, <laughs> and I wasn't sure if any other places we were going today is going to have one. So I want to make sure you got at least to try one while you're here. Here it is. Feast your eyes on, that's right, I said it, the best hot dog combination in America, the Chicago style dog. Okay, Damn. I did notice they split the hot dog and did it how they normally do. That's not a Chicago way of doing it. Sure. But you got tomato wedges, diced white onion, mm -hmm. relish, sport peppers, celery salt, yellow mustard, and a wedge of a pickle. So you mentioned okay. before that you kind of were responding favorably to the sauerkraut having that vinegariness to it. Yes, right? a little bit of tang, yeah. This is all tang. Even though I don't like pickles, yeah. I do like the wedge you'll, on the dog. You'll make an exception for, I, oh, I make an for exception a Chicago for dog, always. Does this look like reasonably authentic then, as a Chicagoan? Yeah, so far it does. The the, the bun should be a, a poppy seed bun, but they don't, we, don't, we don't cut them in half. It's a regular boiled hot dog. All right, I've never had one of these before. Okay. I'm excited, let's, let's go. go. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. You're destroying that thing. Wow. You're going, the way you're going in on that, yeah. I guess you like it. Yeah. I've, I've had a few before. Like this right here is the, the secret ingredient. These sport peppers, the little green peppers. They're not very spicy. No. You give a little bit of a kick to them, but they're still good. And the tiny, like a, like a snap to them. Mmm. Fantastic. Fantastic dog. This is really good. Yeah, right? <laughs> Told you. Why do we not put pickles on hot dogs more? This is I delicious. Don't I don't know why not. Um, See, this is more up my street because it's got plenty of moisture in here. Yeah. There's like texture contrast yeah, going yeah, yeah, yeah. on. You get crunch, you get yep. snap, you get chew. I don't know if that, if we can consider that a contender for a New York <laughs> hot dog video. You and I might not be welcome back in New York if we say that the best dog in New York is a Chicago style dog. Bring but, it. You know, that's on them. If they can't offer something better than this, then. Can you please explain the term glizzy to me? Because I've seen this all over the internet. I think that's what people nickname a hot dog. Really? A hot dog suddenly became like not cool to eat. I'm normalizing eating hot dogs. I'm not with these kids on their apps, making fun of it. All right. I'm going to finish this beer. We got more glizzies to eat. <laughs> I'm ready to gulp some more glizzy, man. Let's let's head off. Someone please isolate that audio, make it a, a, a viral TikTok audio. <laughs> I will take the shame to be sort of famous. <laughs> no New York hot dog tour would be complete without a trip to Nathan's Famous over in Coney Island. I know we've been eating hot dogs all day. That we this have. This is a bit of a haul. Went pretty far south, but I had to take it to Nathan's, the world famous, the one and only, here in Coney Island, also home of the hot dog eating competition. Yes. Your boy Kobayashi. Even I've seen that. Yeah. It's horrifying and fascinating in equal measure. Nathan's has been here since 1916. It started as a hot dog stand. And remember we were talking earlier about Feltman's hot dogs? Yes. When Nathan's opened, they undercut them by selling five cent hot dogs instead of 10 cent hot dogs. So that rivalry runs deep. <laughs> they have locations all over the world. Uh, you can get Nathan's hot dogs in grocery stores all over the country and possibly also internationally. It is 
the quintessential hot dog, arguably the most famous one, and I think you should see why. Also, if you're listening, you can hear we're only steps away from the Coney Island Carnival grounds, rides, the whole thing. So yeah. all that screaming is people on roller coasters, not people eating hot dogs. Sure, that's reassuring to know. Okay. I do love how I'm here, and it feels like I could also be somewhere on the British coastline. Really? Why is that? I feel like just coasts in general, or at least in the UK and the US from what I've experienced, have that similar kind of like rundown charm, I would say. It's not like glamorous over here, yeah. Yeah. but it's very fun. It's yeah. nostalgic, and I like it. So yeah, nice. I feel uh, I feel right at home, and I'm ready to eat this hot dog. All right, once again, we get the sauerkraut. We got the onions on here. This is a pretty good-looking hot dog. It I like is... the color on the onions. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a thinner frank, mm -hmm. but that's to be expected. I know Nathan's are they're a little bit thinner. I think a hot dog eating competition would be a lot better if they had to eat ones with the topics on. That'd be really funny, right? <laughs> that would be. All right. That's um, the challenge on hard mode. But uh, before we go any further, we gotta eat this dog. So do, man. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. So good. Mm -hmm. So, so good. As far as first bites go, really, really good. Even though it's like uh, thinner than most we've seen today, does have a really good snap to it. Mm -hmm. Incredibly flavorful, 100% beef. It does have like a distinct flavor. The Frank has a, a, a distinct flavor that mm. I could probably pick out of a hot dog lineup, mm -hmm. right? I'd say, although this is a beef Frank, tastes fairly similar to some of the more like pork-based Frankfurters that we're used to maybe in the UK. Oh, is that right? Yeah, something to do with the seasoning, the texture as well. It's quite like yeah. homogenous, I guess, the texture. I feel like some of the ones we've had, maybe you can taste like more distinct bits of meat. Whereas okay. this is kind of like just one solid piece of meat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. I like how this place is like a hot dog complex. You know, it's like we're in line there. It's like... This is huge. It's running through hot dogs like churning crazy. Them. Yeah, they're churning them up. Friendly vibe in there. I yeah. like it. Really nice. Yeah, yeah, This dog is as iconic as Coney Island itself. If you are Down. here, you're eating a hot dog. Yeah, can you kind of like separate Coney Island from Nathan's or are they oh. kind of just one and the same? One of them. Yeah. You're enjoying it so much that you wanted your pants to get a taste of that too. I know, God, yeah. <laughs> I'm a wreck. I've had... 20 hot dogs today. And about five beers. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the hot dogs. The kraut's really good here. Mm -hmm. Crunchy, yeah. tangy. Honestly, like I added mustard, but I'm not sure it needs it because you actually get quite a lot of sourness from the sauerkraut yeah. and a little bit from the onions. If you had to enter the hot dog competition tomorrow, mm -hmm. how many dogs do you think you could put away? Mm. What, what was the record again? I don't know if it's a record, but Kobe actually did like 69. Nice. And that's in 10, 10 minutes, I think? That's a lot. Oh. <laughs> in 10 minutes, I could... Mm. I can't eat 69 hot dogs in a year. No. Can you? <laughs> if I was really hungry, I reckon I could maybe do 10. Oh, get out of here. 10 minutes. Hot get out of here, 10 hot dogs. <laughs> How many do you think in 10 minutes? I bet you put away six and then you puke. <laughs> right? you got so little faith, man. We eat fast food professionally. You think our stomachs aren't used to that? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you think it would be, my friend, right? Oh, sorry. I feel like screams. my stomach's getting more sensitive. It screams like, it's pretty jarring. Like, <laughs> they're okay. They're fine, they're fine. Yeah. We spent the whole day eating hot dogs, went all around the city to decide what was the best hot dog you had today. Let's run down a few. Every hot dog I think was great for its own reasons. Yep. Grace Papaya, I think was just a classic dog, right? The snap, the texture, that was a good start. But yep. you know, the one that we had in your Central Park, it was just like the nostalgia play, right? It just was, yeah, you know? This is what it's all about. Having yeah. a hot dog in the park, contemplating your existence, the futility of your existence, <laughs> if I may. That was great. Shake Shack, I mean, maybe I'm biased. We got that Chicago dog. Mm. Chicago dog, I think, was very good. But their actual regular dog, as much like the hate on the, the butterfly cut in half thing, it did have a nice flavor to it. Yeah. McSorley's, I mean, that whole thing was just ridiculous. That specific Frank they had on there. I love the sauerkraut mm. too. And then here, look at the size yeah. of this building. You don't have a building this big <laughs> unless you're selling some serious hot dogs, right? You really don't. Moving no. a lot of dogs. <laughs> so it's a real hard choice. But what do you think? What are some things that stood out to you? The main takeaway for me is that New York has slightly changed my opinion on hot dogs. Oh, that's fantastic. I wasn't much of a hot dog guy. Yeah. But honestly, we've had some really great hot dogs pretty much at every location to the point where I think in the future, I would now voluntarily eat a hot dog. I would go out of my way to buy and eat a hot dog. Yes. Whereas in the past, maybe I wouldn't have done that. So I think, really broadly speaking, yeah. New York has done well. You guys do a good hot dog. But I think my personal favorite 
was McSorley's. Really? Why is that? I really liked the vibe in there. Yeah. It might be because I kind of got like a nostalgic British pub vibe from it. Interesting. But it's very classic in there. It's throwback. People were friendly. It was cheap. Yeah. Good quality. That yeah. hot dog was just delicious. We yeah. both destroyed that thing. Yeah. Do you agree? I agree we both destroyed it. And I'm going to agree with you. I think McSorley's was the best hot dog we had today. Now, I thought it was going to be Grace Papaya. Yeah. After we had it, I'm like, come on. I, 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 we're not getting a better hot dog than this. <laughs> but what jumped out for me as McSorley's is it didn't have as much sauerkraut on it or the kraut wasn't as strong of a flavor, mm. right? Yeah. So the dog did more of the chalking. Definitely. The Feltman's dog, Feltman's which dog. Mm -hmm. I don't think anyone else had a Feltman's dog that we had. Certainly I not Nathan's. So. I think that most of them were Nathan's or something else. Yeah. And with that mustard, ooh, now you couldn't, what else could you put on that dog after that mustard? I don't think it needed anything else. There weren't onions on there. I no? don't think it needed onions. So. Yeah. With just their kraut and the mustard, made for a fantastic hot dog. Yeah, I think simple but very, very effective. Yeah. And like I say, the vibe in there was really great. Yeah, it's We're cool. We're happy place. to go back, even if you weren't going to eat, just like go back for a drink in the evening. Yeah, it's cool. Just friendly in there. And yeah, would happily endorse that to any tourist who is uh, heading right. to New York. All right. Do you want to go on a roller coaster now that we have a stomach full of beer and hot dogs? That's a recipe for throwing up, so yes, let's do it. See you in a couple of weeks for the hot dog eating contest. <laughs> He's at eight? I said ten. No, not happening. Bring it on, man. Not happening. <laughs>